How's it guys, Monash here and today we have Acts 7 chapter 2.2 and for my initial completion I decided to take the intercept path and all the fights on this path have ebb and flow intercept which means they'll start with the protection reducing your damage by 60% and the only way you can remove it is by intercepting which will also give you a passive fury increasing your damage by 40% but it'll only last for 12 seconds then the protection comes back and the opponent purifies all debuffs. Then there's also Foresight, one of the best pro player nodes out there. So when you land a successful intercept, you also get a passive fury, increasing your attack by 200%. That's a pretty big damage increase. I'm pretty sure even a champ like Ebony Moore could do some very solid damage with that passive fury. Then there's Combo Party, which is alright I guess. It gives you a cruelty buff of plus 500 crit damage for every 10 hits on your combo. But when you get hit, you lose all the cruelties and take 40% of the opponent's attack as direct damage for each cruelty buff that you lost. So, golden rule of the game, don't get hit. If you do get hit for some reason, then try not to die. And then finally, we have the aggressive node, which is quite nice in this combination, because it makes the AI more predictable and generally it's easier to intercept when they are more aggressive. So this path isn't that specific, you can use pretty much any good champ for it. I just used Professor X because he generally works well with intercept nodes, so I figured I might as well take him up to rank 3 now instead of waiting for level up since I actually want to use him now. I completed the Axe 6 Crossbones Karina challenge not long ago and selected a tier 5 mutant, and there was never a doubt about who's gonna get it even though I have a rank 2 apocalypse now. Professor X is my favorite mutant so this was an easy choice, and he's OP. So I used him on the vast majority of fights on this path and he creamed every single one of them. I just took an annoying amount of damage against Namor because of his sig ability and how it interacts with intercepting with the aid of a miss mechanic. But besides that I barely lost health until I got to the boss who I also used Professor X for. So the Magneto boss or rather the Wags boss has while the iron is hot which means you're gonna get a prowess whenever you hit him while his back's against the wall and these can stack up to 10. However, he will also get an increase of 5% to his defensive combat power rate for each prowess that you have. Then like the previous Magneto boss, he also has power build up, which will give him a prowess buff whenever he gets to 2 bars of power, increasing his special attack damage by 100%. And of course, this would not be an Axe 7 Magneto boss if his special attacks weren't unblockable. But the most annoying node here has to be Special Connoisseur. He takes 90% reduced damage from all sources, except for special attacks activated while you have a prowess effect. So that's a bit annoying, but at least they gave us the while the iron is hot node, so you can get a prowess buff with pretty much any champ. And I'm not 100% sure if it still works like this, but I remember in Act 6 Chapter 4, the Special Connoisseur node could be bypassed with damage over time, so you might still be able to roast him with Torch or Hyperion. So the fight might have taken me about 3 minutes with Professor X but I did enjoy it, in fact I really enjoyed this path overall, some of the most fun I've had playing this game in quite some time. But also rank 3 Professor X is a pretty fun champ, I used him for every fight except for the champion and airwalker, I used doom for those two, then I just brought quake and nick fury for synergy, and before fighting the boss I swapped out doom for heimdall for more synergy, really didn't need to but I figured why not just for some extra protection. Then I also brought Torch for some backup against the boss, but I never actually got to use him. So this path was mostly Professor X and then two fights for Doom. Against Airwalker I used the usual Doom rotation just to see how much slower it is when doing this fight. Had a small slip up at the end and took an annoying amount of damage. Then against Champion I used no special 3s and actually interacted with the intercept nodes. So that fight was much quicker than Airwalker. And I was playing pretty recklessly at that time with the intercepts because I had the Nick Fury synergy. I think I was also half asleep when I did this path last night or early morning. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys found it useful. But as always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon.